few readers, I'm Elizabeth Meineke, here to provide you expert analysis with Ed Frankvig and Ted Starkey. Um, so, what exactly happened with the Capitals here? They went up three to nothing, um, huge game against the Winnipeg Jets, and ended up losing in overtime, and should people be concerned? I don't think people should be concerned. I think what happened was it was 3 0, and the Capitals got caught looking at the puck on the, on the Jets' first goal. They gave Winnipeg life, and then the Caps got caught sitting back a little bit too much in the third, and I think they, they didn't have a lot of energy. There weren't a lot of guys that, that had their legs in the third period, and Winnipeg's been sitting here for two days, and, and they made the Caps pay in the third period. It was interesting. Hunter did admit that he shortened the bench um, in the 30s, and there were four or five guys that weren't getting the job done, and he sat them. If you look at minute totals, it looks like um, two of the culprits were mainly Jeff Hoffman yeah. and Keith. Ted, do you think that people should be concerned about um, the Capitals' inability to keep that 3 0 lead, or do you think that the team? I think, well, I think one problem is that the Caps tend to, when they get a lead, they tend to take the gap, put off the gas. And I was sitting next to Ed today when they got a 3 0 lead. We both agreed that the Caps kind of had to keep the, you know, not only just not get shots on, but the problem was that almost the entire third period was played in their end. And after a while, I mean, you get a fluky balance. If you only have a one goal lead, it's, even if you get shots from the outside, something may go in. It just, you know, they got, uh, I believe the last shot uh, was a minute one in the second period. They didn't have a late <laughs> shot until after the equalizer. They only had two shots in the last 23 minutes of the game. Yeah. So it just, you're not going to win a lot of games, especially against a team like Winnipeg, who knew, came into this game knowing they had to win to basically keep their playoff hopes alive. Yeah, and Carl Alsner actually talked about, too, about the cap system, because a lot of reporters were asking the guys after the game, you know, was it your plan to kind of sit back and play defense in the third? And I think every player to a man said, no, it was not. I mean, Carl Alsner said, you mean, they need to remember that while they're playing the trap, they do still have the ability to play a little bit of offense here. Dale Hunter talked in his press conference about all the poor checking that was needed. Um, but there are a few silver linings, I would say. First of all, Alex Ovechkin, um, his two goals look absolutely fantastic. Do you think that um, we're going to see more of that kind of play down the stretch at all? Or? Yeah, he's sitting at 35. He's red hot right now. As long as he's got a center that can give him the puck. In this league, you got to have a center that can that can feed you and put you in the right spots to score. He's getting that right now. Matthew Perot with a beautiful pass to him. Ovechkin is going to the net. He's playing very well right now, and they're going to need him. He's carrying the team a little bit right now. After it was 3-1, he didn't really get the puck off the line. Without the puck, you're not going to score. One other interesting thing that happened was Brooks Lake um, got a career high in fights uh, tonight for the <laughs> NHL season. He now has two, <laughs> which beats his previous record of one. Um, it was interesting because Hunter seemed to talk about, you know, the fight being there as momentum changing, but Brooks after the game really didn't seem to play. It wasn't momentum changing at all. In fact, he wasn't sure afterwards if maybe he should have fought, if maybe it was the right time to do it or not. Right. Did you feel like it had a positive effect? Or? Well, it's, I mean, you know, it was right after Winnipeg scored, and it, didn't, it wasn't too much longer before it was 3-2, and it kind of, I mean, it, it's, it always seems like if you're going to try to be, get a fight, you want to be the team that's behind because you always need to get energy and you build off that energy. And sometimes when you're in the lead, you kind of want to decline the fights. And I kind of, kind of in the opinion that it probably was unnecessary there. Um, you know, I didn't, as you said, Hunter said it turned the title a bit, but I mean, it wasn't too much longer before the Caps took the penalty and then eventually Winnipeg pulled within a goal. And, you know, after that, after that second Winnipeg goal, it was... The ice is basically tilted all one way. Well, the Caps have one more day to kind of sit about this and think about their mistakes, and then they come back and play at home on ice um, on Sunday. So we'll be with you then.